Hello and welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT in a function in Excel. And we're going to cover three different types of examples here, but you can do so much more. We are going to categorize items. We are going to translate text and we are going to get little parts of the address separated into separate cells, even when each address is a little bit different. Notice down here, apartment 3B. That's going to throw off a lot of our old methods for breaking up the addresses. But like I said, we can do so much more because we are going to be directly talking with ChatGPT in the function that I give you here. First, I'm going to show you how to use the function in these three examples. Then I'm going to give you the function itself completely free. You can download it from teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video. And then later in the video, I'll show you how to actually install it in your spreadsheet. Now I've cleared out the first example and let me tell you what we're going to do. We've got a list of items, a list of products over here, and I would like to categorize them. We have an iPhone, bananas, and headphones. We have two different categories. We have food and electronics. And to do this by hand would take a very long time, but with ChatGPT, our life is so much easier. So we type equals chat GPT and then give it a prompt. So in here, we simply make our plain text prompt like we would talk to chat GPT and its own interface. Let's say categorize this product as either and let's do a single quote here so that we don't mess up the formula food or single quote electronics chat GPT will handle the single quotes just fine. Then a colon space and double quote that closes up the hard coded part of the prompt, then space ampersand space and select the cell to complete the prompt, the cell with the item in it. That way we can send this description to ChatGPT as well. Close it up, enter, and it will take just a moment and we have the category. Now, how about the rest of the list? Let us just fill in the formula as we normally do. Double click the quick fill handle and there we go. Electronics, food, electronics. This is going to make it so one person can do the job of 10 people. I mean, <laughs> I love this. And you guys are going to love how easy it is to input this function into Excel. And like I said, it's free. At least it's free for me. I'm not going to charge you for it. ChatGPT, they might charge you. Now let's go for translations. Pretty much the same thing, but with a different prompt. Equals ChatGPT, quote, translate to French. And all of the regular prompt rules that we've talked about in other tutorials holds true here. We are talking to chat GPT. We're not talking to Excel. So you can put whatever you need to put in here in order to get the correct outputs from chat GPT. For instance, you might want to say you are an expert French speaker or you are a Quebecois French speaker, whatever you need to put up here. That's what you put. You don't have to make it as basic as I'm doing here in this tutorial. Now we need to get the value to translate. So ampersand, select the text, close it up, enter. And that looks about right to me. I'm definitely not going to say it. Ooh, est lagar. Turns out I did say it. <laughs> anyway, French, such a funny language. I love it. Now let's go for addresses. We're going to write in the first one and then I'll cover the following three. It's going to follow the same pattern. Chat GPT, double quote, extract the street from this address, colon, space, close up the double quote, ampersand, and here. Now addresses are notoriously, let's say finicky or horrible or annoying. So you might want to put a bunch of extra stuff in here. You might want to say, Hey, I want to qualify it by saying it's in the USA. 
which we have right here, but it's helpful to tell ChatGPT it's in the United States of America, it's in this state, it's in this region, it's in this language, there's these things to pay attention to, it's all in apartment buildings, it's all industrial addresses. Whatever you need to do, whatever you need to qualify your query with in order to get correct results, make sure that you put that in there. This should work just fine though. Let's close it up. There we go, Main Street. But maybe you also wanted it to say 123 Main Street, not just the street itself. So you would update this, make it a bit more clear what you actually wanted. For city, same thing, except for we say extract the city. State, extract the state. Zip code, extract the zip code. Now let's select everything and copy it down. Give it a moment. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. How many days of time you are going to save using this. It's so good. But please remember that ChatGPT is not always accurate. If you have mission critical information, sure, go ahead and use this to input the values, but check it afterwards. Make sure it's correct. You'll still save a bunch of time doing that. Now, one thing that you might want to do after you have gotten the results is to make sure that you freeze values. So we can select everything that we care about. Control C, Control Shift V. Now, if I go back to it, we see only the visible values. I use the new keyboard shortcut there, Control C, Control Shift V as opposed to Alt ESV enter <laughs> for some of us who have been around for a while. And we could do it for translate as well. Select copy paste special values. That's what that keyboard shortcut stands for. And that way everything's going to run a bit faster and you're not going to accidentally hit the chat GPT API too many times. So uh, let's now talk about how to install this function because you are not going to have this function by default. What we want to do is to hit Alt F11 on the keyboard. Once you do that, look to the project window over here. If you don't see it, go to a view and project explorer, and then you'll see it. Open up modules, double click chat GPT function. When you download this file from teachexcel.com, this is what you are going to see. And all you have to do, click in here, hit control A to select everything, control C to copy it, then go to your workbook where you would like to be able to use this function and paste it in. So you go to insert module and simply paste in everything, just like that. The last thing is to go down to your open API key, uh, double click this and input your key. This is for your account. So you have to go to open AI create a ChatGPT account, get your API key, paste it in right there, and then you can use this function. To get your OpenAI key, make sure you go to openai.com, sign up for an account, and then you can go to this URL, platform.openai.com forward slash API dash keys. Then you go to create new secret key. Make sure it has all permissions, copy that key, go back here, paste it in, and you're good to go. Now, depending on the type of account that you have, you might have to pay OpenAI for this, but for this here in Microsoft Excel, completely free. To get it, just go to the link below the video, download the file, hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window, open up chat GPT function, and copy paste this code here. When you go to save your file, make sure that you save it as a macro enabled workbook .xlsm, And then you've got the function in your workbook. Now this is a very basic version of what we can do with connecting Excel to chat GPT. But if you guys would like me to build this out a little bit more, if you'd like me to turn it into a fully fledged add in or do any really cool things like that, then make sure to let me know in the comments below this video. But that's all for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and give us a thumbs up.
and make sure to share it with anyone you think might find this helpful. That's all for now. See you next time.